with us, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 15 rounds of heavyweight action. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. George Foreman's making that final walk that separates man and warrior, soon to be in battle there in the ring. Holmes's got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. You got this when you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Who do you think has to make the bigger adjustment in a matchup like this of boxer brawler? Usually in a matchup like this, Joe, it's a brawler. It's the guy who's aggressive that has to make the adjustments because, let's face it, if things start off with the boxer using the outside and using his speed, trying to stay away, the brawler's going to be chasing after him. And at some point, if he doesn't get to him, he's going to have to figure out another strategy. Foreman dismisses that with a block. <laughs> what an impact that left hand just made by the assassin. Good flush shot upstairs. Digging in with a left to the gut. Foreman's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Scoring well with that hook by the assassin. Keep working the jab. Good, good. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. to the body work now he lands the right hand final 10 seconds of round number one and that's the end of round one the assassin's commitment to being judicious and effective really worked out well there the punch stats prove it i'm not gonna stand here and watch you take these shots okay you understand me 
Let's see some defense. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Much better. Much better. That was good. Here we go. Round two is underway. Now he ties up there. by home. Teddy, let's size up George Foreman. And I suppose we would start with that, the size. <laughs> the size is one of his great strengths. And usually, not always, but usually he knows how to use that size. You know, his stand can be set on his feet at a certain distance. And, you know, you think of the power punches with George, you know, the uppercut, the left hook, the looping right hand. But... You know what? He has a really solid sledgehammer left jab. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. <laughs> Off the target by George Foreman. Able to cover up that gut. Able to show you his blocking ability. Combos, combos. On the receiving end of a big and solid. What a hook to the body, and he is down and in bad shape. One, two, three, four. Holmes is still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Stay round right comes to an end. Okay. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, See, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. Holmes is in a tough spot here. 60 seconds. That's all you get to gather yourself after being knocked down. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by George Foreman. him holding on well timed by Holmes 
He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Turned that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Move your head. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. George Foreman's jab lands well. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Keep moving. Keep moving. There you go. Come on, kid. Bolton. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Keep working the body. Defense easily turns into offense. Locks a blow, sends an uppercut. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by George Foreman. Left to the body. Protecting his head well with his guard. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Foreman's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Three minutes gone by in this round. Keep your hands up. Okay, listen. I need you to throw three punches. Combinations. All right, come on, let's finish this. Keep going, just keep going. You're doing great, but let's keep working out there. Round number four underway. Foreman's only won one round, but it was a significant round, Teddy. Yeah, he scored a knockdown. Obviously, he knows that he got that extra point there. And more importantly, he knows for the future he can hurt the guy. Huge left from Big George. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by George Foreman. Holmes is able to avoid that punch. Counters with a crushing blow to the head. And just grabbing on to his opponent. That's a shocker to see George Foreman hurt like that. Hey, if I'm in the corner of Foreman right now, I'm screaming to him, get away, get out of range. Foreman's effort has been admirable, but I don't think he's getting the results he would like to get here. He's tiring himself. Yeah, what I think is starting to happen here, Joe, we saw him throwing a lot of punches. Oh, and a crushing hook just gets right to him. This looks like it could be just a matter of time now, maybe a punch or two away from going down. Teddy, what's he got to do? Well, he's got to grab. He's got to find a way to stop the offense. And the clutch and grab... Usually that's one way. One, one. 
able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Holmes is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. George Foreman is such a big physical presence, Teddy, in the ring. Almost a hulking presence. And it really aligned with his style in the ring offensively. It was like wrecking ball wide shots. Yeah, wrecking balls work good when you knock them over an old building, a tenement that's standing in front of you. But the wrecking ball, it could just swing into the air and hit nothing if you have a slick guy. So it works both ways. You're right. And what you're basically saying is, yeah, he's dangerous, but he's a little crude. You don't have to slug it out. Yeah, we'll get him, we'll get him. You're gonna tire yourself out. Pick your shot. We start a new round here. It's hard to believe that we're even in this round based on how that last round finished. Well, have you ever watched some of those Houdini movies? You know, the great escape artist. Kind of hard to believe he got relax, out of some of those relax. fixes he was in. You know, inside that box with chains around him underwater. He's going to have to do a Houdini right here. All right, let's do it. The assassin's eye is now cut. That could be a real detriment. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. You're still not you see, he comes nice. over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Holmes' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways. That's a clean shot, able to get in with the right hand. There it is! That's a great effort against Foreman right there. I mean, to take down Big George like that, that is something. Norman's gonna have to pull himself together here. Now he, oh! And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five, six. The ref is stopping this fight. George Foreman smashed and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. As we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Holmes is now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title, you want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That we'll see you next time.